request uh, uh, Mr. Prasun Talukdar, National Manager, Business Development, Digital India and Strategic Projects, Government and Public Sector, Open Text, to come on stage and to give a presentation. And after that, we'll have a very interesting session by Nikhil Mahadeshwar, founder of Cyber Secure India. He'll be giving, giving a live demo on transferring governance through cyber security and digital forensics armed with emerging technologies. And I'm sure both these presentations will be as exciting as the inaugural session of day two. Over to you, Prasoon. So when the slides are coming up, so uh, first of all, uh, good morning and uh, warm welcome to all. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Department of Science and Technology and uh, MPACDC, uh, Mr. Obhijit Agrawal and his team, and the APAC networks, of course, uh, to give us an opportunity to uh, you know, uh, share our point of view uh, on the digital transformation uh, in government and public sector. Uh, yesterday, uh, you have seen, uh, you have probably gone through one of the presentation from our side by my colleague uh, Praveen Kulkarni about the uh, cyber security solutions and the, you know, the, the, its impacts in the, you know, the government and the public sector. So today, uh, I am going to uh, talk about more on our point of view about the interpretation of the digital transformation in government and public sector. And we'd like to touch upon you know, some of the aspects where what we are doing in India with various uh, government departments and government customers. So uh, probably many of you uh, may be or may not be aware that uh, open text uh, is actually, earlier it was micro focus. I think micro focus is more popular name in the industry. So we have become open text very recently. There's a name change and there's a combination of two, two organizations together. Uh, so far, you know, uh, from yesterday, the whole day, and till today, to, till today, uh, there are a lot of interesting uh, and the insightful discussion has happened, you know, from various uh, executives and the officers from the government and the industry. So I just try to kind of capture few, uh, you know, bullets, which is, which is my takeaway because it was very insightful and you know, good learning from us as well from the industry. So one of the things which actually came up is the AI, uh, artificial intelligence becoming, uh, becoming core to the, you know, to the various operations and the initiatives of government and enterprise. And that is where it has got a uh, huge impact you know, on the industry today. And second one, what also came up is that, you know, uh, in terms of uh, India, we have seen the, you know, huge penetration of uh, IT and the digital into various segments. But now, I think government is more focusing on, you know, more proactive governance, so that, you know, nobody is left out in the, in the citizens in terms of the different service deliveries. So that is a proactive governance. And uh, privacy and, the, you know, cyber security was another discussion point. You know, today also morning we have heard many speakers was talking about his impact, his importance, and, and Lord, you know, one more announcement also by uh, Abhijit Saab in terms of coming up with a new, another conference on that. Uh, another one also came up is that uh, while there are, uh, you know, multiple platforms uh, which has been developed in India for various departments, various ministries, uh, starting from, you know, uh, Indian Railway Reservation Center uh, or maybe uh, Ayushman Bharat, uh, Cowin, UIDI, uh, income tax e-filing and many more. Uh, but I think uh, Abhijit sir has mentioned one thing is that how this application usage can be made simple for the users, whether the lighter applications or the simple applications. So simplicity is probably one of the things which I have seen probably the importance for us for the discussion. Now with this uh, keep in uh, background, uh, just like to share our point of view, uh, what, where we are today and what is the future is looking up, uh, looking up in terms of the whole uh, you know, perspective today. Now if you see that, uh, we have so many platforms which is being developed by the government of India today and also in the state level and like you know income tax I just mentioned about railway reservation or Cohen app and many more right now if you see that is actually the uh, whether it is a government organizations or enterprise uh, everybody is becoming a software co company software organizations because things are driven by software and that is where it is finally getting into a mode where service delivery becomes at the speed of digital so there's a lot of expectation, a lot of demands will be coming up in the next couple of years. And definitely, finally, 
uh, every organization or every government department is becoming an ecosystem of digital uh, components, right? So that is what become very, very important. Another one which is coming up, uh, which we, we expect to be there, is that things are going to be more uh, human-centric. India is one of the youngest country today in the, in, the, in the world, and we have probably 40% uh, population will be age of 35 by 2030. Now, what it means is that the whole talent pool, the workforce, the way they are consuming softwares today, and things will change over time. And this is going to be more instantaneous, more uh, instant expectation, and more uh, you know, instant experience. And this is the change we are going to see, and so uh, that has got a bigger impact on the government, on the industry today, the way we are you know, creating the services, delivering services for the customer, for, for our citizens. And definitely the purpose of any, any system or any service delivery is also going to change over time. Of course, there are uh, change in the order of the you know, politics, uh, in, the, in the order of you know, various ways of you know, uh, running the operations or doing the business today. Uh, climate change, I think, has got a bigger impact uh, into, into whatever we are doing today, whether it's the enterprise and the government, right? So sustainability, uh, greener power, you know, green initiatives. We have already cut trillions of trees, right, because of uh, whatever reasons, you know, development in the, the name of development. Uh, we, we know that, you know, cryptocurrencies are becoming popular. Now, when you talk know, cryptocurrency, probably it is powered by so many power plants to run the data center. So apparently what, when we see the things, but in behind, there are a lot more uh, changes are happening and those changes has a bigger impact on our nature. So it is, so um, when is the digital or the IT, it is nothing different from the society or the things happening around us. So a lot of things will, will, be, will be impacted by this particular, uh, you know, change. Uh, privacy and uh, cyber security we have been discussing again, I mean, that has got a big, definitely the you know, bigger impacts coming up. And finally, I think trust factor is becoming very, very important, whether it is a private or government or an individual. So a lot of things will be trust-based. Now, creating a brand of trust will be another important factor going forward, whatever we are going to do in government. Uh, definitely, the, there are technologies we have been discussing about AI, probably will become you know, mainstream in a couple of years. It is becoming. Uh, it has got a much bigger impact of the you know, employment. So something will go away, some new things will come up. So huge impact on the demography or the, you know, the society today are going to happen. Uh, we, we are seeing our uh, you know, next generations are more you know, pro towards the metaverse. They are probably moving away from you know, standard Facebook to different kind of uh, environment today. So this is going to be uh, impacted definitely in the, in the uh, government or the enterprise space going forward. Uh, definitely overall, all those things will you know, open up a lot of changes. Now, uh, when we are talking about the changes, let's look at uh, just a couple of minutes uh, in what is the impact of it in the government and especially the verticals which is related to the government. So, go so government has been spending lot of money, lot of investment creating digital infrastructure today. Now, object is very clear. It has to be the proactive governance. It has to be the, you know, the happy citizens. And definitely, it's finally making the government operations smarter so that it can be, it can happen much lesser cost of operations. Manufacturing, just in case manufacturing is something uh, which is, uh, you know, uh, demand today. We have seen Ukraine war and which has impacted the whole supply chain. So this is going to be another area where we'll find that information and automation is going to uh, you know, create a lot of opportunities or the new opportunities in front of us. Financial services. Uh, India is aspiring to be uh, one trillion dollar economy by 2030. So that itself shows with the UPI and different you know, payment app, uh, you know, bank account for all, uh, financial inclusion, those things coming up and that actually is going to trigger a uh, lot more leverage of inform uh, information or the, the automation or the AI, you know, in coming future. Uh, life science, uh, we have seen uh, drug research, drug discovery is, is actually leveraging uh, analytics and the big data today. And definitely IML uh, is also there. We have seen, uh, you know, the re very recent example of, uh, you know, COVID vaccine being uh, you know, developed within a, with a record time, right? We have never seen, you know, within a two years or one and a half years time, you know, medicine vaccine was available today. So this is another area where, uh, you know, information and analytics is going to play a big role. Uh, healthcare, I think uh, 
Vilay Sab has mentioned about uh, how the health care is getting transformed with using the technology and there are a lot of policy making things are also getting uh, kind of bridge and to make sure that you know uh, whole healthcare system is seamlessly integrated but another point is that you know today uh, government is probably trying to reach out to the masses where nobody is left out as per the care healthcare is concerned right so tele teleconsulting telemedicines those things are again driven by uh, you know the the information technology or the analytics uh, or the automation uh, telecom we have seen india is taking a lead in terms of the 5g standards uh, which was never thought of uh, space research we have seen one of the you know uh, one of the largest producer of the you know launch of satellites today uh, in the world now these are the things that you know driven by again uh, you know it and the automation uh, energy uh, in the power sector there are a lot of uh, uh, you know uh, lot of changes lot of transformation is happening on smart grid greener power so we're moving from uh, coal based power plant to greener power now that is where we i think that again the smart grids uh, you know iot or the automation is going to play a lot of role in terms of implementing uh, those initiatives going forward uh, transportation definitely uh, another area where you have the traffic control system in the city or it is a uh, you know uh, uh, where the multimodal transport system are you know triggered by the technology itself uh, you talk about the airports today airlines now you go to the airport today we talk, we, have, we have seen the new initiative of digi yatra where is a frictionless travel so you don't need to touch uh, minimum uh, points when you are entering the airport to the boarding the flight uh, same thing happens on probably the railway uh, system as well we see i mean there's the irctc as becoming you know uh, improving every every year with the new kind of services and the giving a different kind of experience to the you know passengers so these are the these are the things are now going forward probably have more and more opportunities will be coming up new possibilities will be coming up for us at the same time new challenges now uh, let me just give you uh, you know few examples uh, you know how uh, we as an organization open text is working with some of the indian customers and they are probably the uh, some of the leaders who are taken those initiatives which is coming up probably next uh, few years but started happening today in our country as well now uh, if you see that from the from the right side of it uh, it is it is the you know app quality of application delivery now quality of application delivery is very very critical uh, because that will that will actually help to adapt the applications on mobile on portal by the citizens or the users right and that is where i think you have seen the examples of uh, you know income tax e filing that is one of the uh, things everybody is i'm saying that most of the people are being touched because we file our returns you know every every year end of the that these applications are tested for that number of users so that it doesn't fail right it, the site doesn't crash we know the you know examination applications today in various states the day that you know result declares that is the day you know site crashes but why it is happening because applications are probably not tested for that you know workload or the the user workload coming on that particular day so it is important to you know do the testing uh, good news is that you know uh, government of mp uh, they also have started uh, created a center of excellence for testing and that is where we are also partnered with uh, with government and uh, working with uh, abhijit sir team uh, gstn is another example i think they do their application testing every 15 days because it is not a question of you know uh, checking your application is working right or wrong once before the roll out it is actually happening you know regular basis because there are a lot of policy changes lot of changes happening in the application and then you have to do the whole testing so that the things are on track or not uh coming to the uh, you know smarter and the secure digital operations so uh, we talk about uh, customers like railtel uh, uh, crease which is a agency for the indian railways it management services uh, national informatics centers so these are the uh, these are the organizations where we have helped them to set up their security operations and we are also helping them to run their digital operation the it operations today right cdac uh, they are they have set up their own security operations for their internal purpose they recently we have also uh, partnered with them and helped them to develop that particular uh, particular setup uh, smart city has been a you know uh, good you know great success story for us across the country almost 70% smart cities uh, we actually helped them to uh, you know create the digital operation centers security operation centers to manage their entire uh, infrastructure which is iot and it Uh, which is deployed across the st across the city so that is where you know we have been we have been working on in the uh, many customers to, uh, in india uh, 
all the three armed forces. So they, they, their unified communication and the, uh, you know, uh, secure network, uh, which, is, which is basically, uh, they have created a universal network for all the forces by which you, they communicate, uh, you know, for different uh, secured uh, messaging and the informations. So we helped them to, uh, supported them with our technology to build up that particular network with our security solutions and the digital operation uh, softwares. Uh, business efficiency and the user experience. I think when it's a business, it, it's definitely related to government and enterprise both. Uh, when it's a user experience, it is user mean can be citizen and customer both. Now, here we have, uh, we have supporting multiple customers and especially I've just mentioned about two names here, which is SAP and uh, Microsoft, because they use our content management software, uh, which actually part of their solution, which actually goes and you know, implement uh, some of these business applications uh, into various public sector undertaking like IOCL, ONGCs, and many state government power companies today. <clears throat> so what we do uh, in, in, a, in a summary, because we have a quite large uh, portfolio of solutions, it is not, I'll just give a overall message so that you can relate that what we are actually trying to do. So what we help, we are an information management company. Now what we do is that we help customer to create the system of records. So you have data, you have information, and then you create a single source of truth for all your information, all your records. After this records are being created, then there's an the engagement coming in. There are different stakeholders. It can be users, it can be customers, it can be auditors, it can be you know, many more entities who are using these records or information. So system of engagement is something that we help customer to create with our software. Next level is definitely the you know, uh, system of insights because all information, all records is finally to, to get, a, you know, uh, get a insights by which you do take some decisions, by which you uh, uh, operate your systems, operate your business. So that is where it's coming in. Now how we are doing it by build, automate, connect, and secure, predict, and act. So there are different, uh, you know, different solution sets coming from the application delivery to application modernization. Uh, to business network, digital operations, and then definitely the cyber security side where we help customer to uh, secure their uh, data application and infrastructure and, and definitely the content management and finally the, uh, giving the experience, digital experience for the uh, citizens or the, or the customers. Uh, who knows, my, uh, my, heard about the microfocus? So this is the, our uh, original portfolio where we actually have a cybersecurity solutions on starting from you know, different aspects. Then there's an application uh, delivery solution which is more of a DevOps and, you know, and the application quality, uh, quality applications uh, uh, softwares, then digital operations, and then different modernization of the applications are analytics. Uh, open text coming in, uh, we have Another uh, set of solutions coming in, which is primarily the uh, smarter information, which is the content management solutions, then the smarter experience, the digital experience, and definitely the smarter network. Uh, I'm just uh, probably just touch on a few things where we can relate. So content management is something which is, uh, you know, is being heavily used in you know, different land records, land reforms uh, projects, uh, or even a minister of finance, or maybe, you know, uh, Organizations who deals with lot of uh, lot of records, uh, smarter experiences, digital experience is becoming uh, one of the uh, important things today. Because whenever we deploy an application, you want to see how uh, the user, the citizens are, you know, uh, taking those applications, or using the applications. So this can be a customized or the personalized kind of experience can be created uh, for the for the customers or for the users or the citizens today. Uh, definitely, there are. Uh, uh, cyber security, we have already spoken about. Uh, smarter applications, again, uh, this is the you know, DevOps and the testing, uh, testing sol solutions, which is being uh, used by many governments today. Uh, smarter digital operations is primarily your IT service management and monitoring your data center, cloud, and definitely you have a uh, lot of AI-based operations today, which is, which is a new buzzword in terms of the IT, IT operations management. And definitely the analytics, uh, AI, ML, we have been discussing. So this particular uh, uh, solution actually helps customer to have the data warehouse and at the same time with the AI, ML uh, layer coming in, helping customer to uh, you know, get the insight out of your uh, large data sets. 
this is uh, this is you know open text as an organization so i'm not getting into the details of it it's a it's a you know uh, we have large presence in india today uh, we have 6000 uh, people for the r&d center in hyderabad and bangalore uh, we are 20 years in this country and this is also in in line with the make it india uh, initiatives of uh, prime minister's office 70% Central central ministries are today uh, using our uh, solutions. Great reference. It probably will give you a lot of confidence that what we can do for uh, many customers. Smart city. I have just told that it's a big uh, case studies today for for us in India, and it becomes a reference for for our global customers as well. Uh, in terms of uh, state, different states. I think we are uh, supporting a lot of state data centers, a lot of SWAN projects in various states. so that's what for my side about uh, you know open text and our solutions so i'll be happy in case any questions you have now or i can be uh, around thank you uh, uh, prasun talukdar from the open text i request mr prasun to come on stage for once uh, and i request uh, mr kiran anandam pillai from the national health authority if you can come on stage for once and hand over a small token of appreciation to mr prasun uh, talukdar A huge round of applause for uh, Mr. Prasoon and Open Tech. Thank you so much. Uh